Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Rescue Digital Media. Today, in this video, I will show you how to fix initialize disk without losing data with 5 quick fixes. But before that, like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified when our new video lands. Actually, the unknown or not initialized error occurs when the MBR on your hard disk is corrupted or damaged besides, there are some other reasons as well that can lead to this issue. Like because of virus or malware attack, due to faulty or damaged hard drive, if the hard disk is new and has never been connected to a PC, and when the windows fail to get a valid partition table in a hard disk. Now, let's move on to fix disk unknown, not initialized, unallocated issue. Solution 1. Restart your PC. But before trying any recommended methods let's restart your PC first. Make sure to close all programs before restarting your PC. Then, open the Start menu. And click on Restart. Solution 2. Run chkdsk command. chkdsk facility scans the integrity of the file system of the external hard drive by detecting its good in the bad sectors. You can use this feature by using the command prompt on your PC. Go to search bar and type cmd. Then find and click on run as administrator. Now, type chkdsk space c colon space slash f slash r slash x and hit enter. Here, you will be asked would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap yes to continue. This simple process will help you to fix the bad sectors present on your hard disk and also fix hard disk problem. Finally, restart your PC and check for the issue. Solution 3. Repair disk using error checking utility. Here's how access is denied error can be fixed by Windows native feature error checking. Connect your USB drive to your Windows PC and wait until it is detected by it. Open Windows Explorer and find your connected USB drive from my computer. Make right click on the USB drive. And go to Properties. Then Tools section. And click on the check option under the error checking section. Now, Windows will automatically start checking your drive for any errors. If it finds any issue, then you will be notified. After that, you will have to click on the repair drive. Now, you are done. Solution 4. Run Windows Troubleshooter. Running the Windows Troubleshooter will help to diagnose the device, detect the device's issue and fix the detected problems. For this, you have to go to the Start menu, then click on the setting. Once you open the settings, then tap on Update and Security. Here you need to click on Troubleshoot. Then go to Additional Troubleshooters there you need to find Hardware Troubleshooter. If you don't find Hardware Troubleshooter there, you have to open the command prompt by typing CMD in the search box. Then right click on the command prompt. Click on Run as Administrator then click on Yes option. Now, you need to type one command that is msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic then hit enter. Here, the hardware and device will open. There, click on advanced and check apply repairs automatically option. Then tap on next. Now, it will try to detect the problem and fix for you. After that, you will get device install settings. There you have to click enable option, it will check for drive and drivers. Now it will detect the problems and will fix for you. Close the troubleshooter window and check if the hard disk not initialized IO error is resolved. Solution 5, Update Device Driver. Press Windows plus R keys together. Then type divmgmp.msc command and hit enter. Find and double click disk drives. Find and right click the problematic disk. 
and select update driver. Then click on search automatically search for driver software online. Wait for the driver to be updated, then reboot your computer. Hard drive data recovery tool. While fixing hard disk not initialized IO error if you find that all your drive data gets deleted, try the powerful hard drive data recovery tool. It will definitely help you to recover all your deleted, lost or inaccessible external data storage drive files without any backup. So, once download this tool and follow these steps. Step 1. Firstly, select the drive, external media or volume from which you want to recover deleted media files. After selecting, click on Scan. Step 2. Next, you can preview the recoverable media files after the scanning process is completed. Step 3. Lastly, you can select the images, audio, video files you want to restore, and click on Recover option to save them at the location you want. Find its download and user guide links in the below description box. That's all. Hope you like